Jam School Remix. Remember those power bands that all the sports people were wearing for a hot minute and then they figured out that they don't do anything? The reason they sold so well is because in the demonstrations, they would use classic stage hypnosis techniques, tricks of kinesiology that make it actually feel like you're stronger or better balanced. These are the tricks that you can use to mess with your friends. I want you to stand, Sean, on your right foot. You're right-handed, right? Yes. Okay, good. Stand on your right foot. I want you to put both your arms all the way out on the side. I'm only gonna use two fingers, right? Use two fingers and try try to resist me. Try, oh, try to, to resist. Try, try okay, to resist okay. me. There we go. There we go. And you, see, see, you can feel I'm right, you're right. falling right over. All right, there we go. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. And <laughs> you were doing good there for a second. All right. All right, now watch this though. Apparently, there's magical holograms in there. You can put it on your wrist. You can put it in your pocket. Whatever you want. We'll just put this on here. All right, now same thing. Same thing. Bounce on your right foot. I'm gonna start with two two fingers here. Try to resist me. It's working. I have. I'm gonna move through my whole fist if you okay. don't mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna push with all my weight. Oh my gosh! I'm, I'm gonna move through two fists. <laughs> all right, I would say that's a successful yeah, test. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, let's do another one. Here, okay. go ahead, take, take it back off. Right. This time I want you to cup your hand like I'm gonna sneak something into your hand. Keep your feet side by side. I'm gonna push down with my fist. Try to resist me, okay? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now again, here, put the magical bracelet on. Okay. There we go. And now, cup your hand, and I want you to feel. I'm gonna put down more weight. What does it feel like? It's pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, two of them with you. First of all, I want you to turn and face that way. Okay. And I want you to interlace your fingers together behind your back. Keep them interlaced. I'm gonna push my fist in. You try to remain straight up. Okay. Here we go. All right. That's all right. All right, let's try something different. Here, this time, uh, just put that in your pocket. In my That's pocket? the crazy part. You don't even have to wear them. Put it in your pocket. Okay. And you'll notice the difference. I'm gonna push down with all my weight. <laughs> ah, you got almost all my weight on there. Does it feel different? Yes. All right, so Sean, this time what I want you to do, hold your right hand out, and I want you to turn as far left in until you can't go anymore. So just spin all the way around. And then what are you pointing at? Pointing at like the crack right here. That, uh, uh, there we go, that crack right there. there. All right, watch yeah. this. I'm not even going to touch you. I've got nothing to do with this. Put this in your pocket because okay. that's the crazy part. You don't even have to wear it. And hold your right hand out again. You're going to be able to spin at least 20% farther this time. Okay. <laughs> your eyes were awesome when they lit up. How does, how does that work? Scientists call this the ideomotor response. It's where psychologically, they don't even realize that these very tiny two degrees of difference makes the difference between someone falling over and taking all of your weight. The first one was the scarecrow. Stand on your right foot, hold your arms all the way out. Okay. I want you to put two fingers on his arm and I want you to push. And as you push down, I want you to aim for right here, about three inches over from his right, from his left foot. Okay. There we go. So Got you it. felt that that time. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm pulling just a little bit to the left, and it takes very little pressure to pull you up. I'm pointing out how little pressure it takes. I'm not making any mention of leverage or what direction I'm pulling you. I'm getting you in your mind to equate, oh, it takes a lot of pressure to pull someone over. Here, we'll just balance this on your head, so it's <laughs> magical. This time, exact same setup. Now I want you to aim straight for his foot. Now the only difference is, instead of aiming straight down, I'm just gonna be like two degrees in. It's very difficult for your body to notice the difference, so push down. Now go ahead and put your whole arm onto it. Push down. Yeah. And it makes no difference, yeah. right? Now meanwhile, you notice the increased force yeah. that he's pushing yeah. down with, but you don't notice that he's aiming ever so slightly no. off the side. You look ridiculous. This one's called the deal, and the idea is that, like I'm sneaking something into your hand. So you want to cup your hand, you're going to put your fist right in here, same thing. Now first of all, you notice your feet are apart there. You want to make sure to put them together. It's the difference between aiming, what I'm doing is I'm aiming for a few inches off to the side. I'm gonna pull down and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Yeah. There you go, so you yeah. definitely feel yeah, it, right? Quick. And again, here, we'll just tuck that in your pocket. Then when you got the band on your shoulder, the magic shoulder band, feet this together. time, again, feet together, I want you to aim for his shoe and you'll be able to put all of your weight down. <laughs> and no matter how much weight I put on, that very, very tiny amount of leverage makes a huge, huge difference. Now it's time for one of the most effective of them, especially for somebody who's overweight or very, very tall, because they don't expect that they could be pulled all the way over backwards. So turn around facing away from me, cup your hands together, and again, the same thing. I'm gonna pull down, 
Now this one is shockingly effective because there's no way for me to compensate if I pull you over your heels. And you can feel, you can feel that it pulls you right off balance, right? And there we go, pulls you over. Now obviously if you do this with somebody in real life, you do not want to let them fall over onto you. You gotta keep a hand on their shoulder, be courteous, don't make them fall down and crack their head. Now I'm gonna aim for your heels and I could put almost my entire body weight in there. If you point, as you push down, point directly at their heels, they will be able to take all of your weight. If you point just a few inches behind their heels, you feel that difference as they fall over. This last one's sort of a kicker. Some people think it's a good one, some people think it's a bad one. What I like about it is that it doesn't involve me manipulating anything, so you can't accuse me of right. using leverage. So again, I want you to put your feet together, I want you to put your, arm, your right arm out, just your right arm. I want you to spin around as far as you can. By putting the wristband on you and telling you that you're going to surpass it by 20%, part of what I do is I set a new goal for you. And whenever there's a goal, you muster up a little more courage. And also, you've done it once, so you know what your right. body's capable of. Now that you've done it a few times, I bet you can go all the way around to that other side over there. Go ahead and try it. See? And then you realize that even keeping your arms straight, you're able to do it. And it feels like there's no rational reason why it should be different from one to the next, but part of it is setting expectations, part of it is leverage, and part of it is a kind of cooperative fooling yourself that cause people to feel like these bands actually give them magic gifts. If you want to mess with your friends, we have those placebo bands at scamstuff.com. It's gear for the modern rogue. Imagine this, find somebody who hasn't heard of these. Do the whole demonstration. Actually convince them that this is truly a magic band. Sell it to them for 30, 40, 50 dollars. Then point out that it's called a placebo band and they bought nothing. Ha ha, friendship over. It's probably not the best plan. Scam School Remix is the best of 10 years and 500 plus episodes of Scam School. You could dive into the whole back catalog as each episode is time compressed so you learn a decade of magic in only one year. It's gonna take you a while. There are a lot of episodes. <laughs>